Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the previous video, we have learned about the basics of AP ROM. How to store the numbers uh, from 0 to 255 in each, in each cell uh, and uh, how to uh, read from the memory. In this video, we will learn how to uh, write a character to each, each memory cells of the microcontrollers. Of the PIC16, F676 microcontroller. As you know, that PIC16, F676 has uh, about 128 bytes of memory, and each memory uh, 128 bytes, and each bytes has its own address. Uh, this memory, uh, the EPROM elliptical eligible program, read only memory has been classified in uh, rows and clock columns. And each cell, each memory location has its own address. For example, this has address 00, this one is 0102, and this one is 101112, and this one is the uh, 6465 and 6667. And this way, each memory cell has its own address, and these addresses are in the hexadecimal system. And you can write a character in each cell. And here you can see the video of this character. The video of the character will be stored here, and S key number will be shown here. Suppose we have to store video of a, we have to store character A it memory location one what happens. So now, now let's see the C course how to write C course for storing the any characters uh, to uh, a prom of the PIC 16 F 6716 or any other microcontroller. Here uh, we have to write, uh, first you have to configure the microcontroller, you have to set the FOC frequency oscillator, internal oscillator has been used, watch whatever is off, and this way watch whatever is off, boom, burn on, it enables burn on, and enable is on, uh, CP code protection is off, data code protection is off, and we have to use this. Uh, Define a stream of letter is about 4 megahertz. Then we have to initialize two global variables x and y, which are unsigned characters, which will be changed from which we may have value from 0 to 255. Then we have to start the main function uh, and allow analog selection versus 00, which means all the same pins have been selected as a digital operator is off. Pick 16 F676 has. Two ports, port A and port C, both are using as outputs. For inputs, you have to write zero cross FF. Now, a button now we are using as output. That's why we have written zero point zero zero. Right in. Suppose we have to write at location A the character A. Then here we have to write. We have to write in the commas. A single comma. This one. Letter A, then A will be stored for location A. Then, when we read, for example, when we then we first we have to write its location one, letter A. Then we have to do some, uh, we have to wait in order to write the uh, data into the EPROM. Uh, then we have to use the while loop. R A0 is not equal to R is it, is, it, is, it has been used just as, as an indicator. When the microcontroller is running, it indicates that. This change states about 500 microsecond and millisecond can be used. After that, this uh, APROM write is a kind of macro which is used to write a data to the uh, microcontroller, and the APROM read is a macro which is used uh, to read the data from the uh, APROM from the memory. Uh, so uh, the microcontroller will read the memory of the address one and store its value to the assigned value to the variable y, and uh, then we apply the condition if the value of y is equal to character a, for example, character a, character a, then this statement will be um, and the PC will execute this command statement. Uh, and then we again we check the second condition B capital B 
so let's start the programming so let's debug the program here uh, click here debug main project to it now you can see this one is the arrow point this is the PC program counter and there are breakpoints have been applied in order to debug this C codes as you call debugging of the C codes this button is, uh, is used for step into and this one is step out so we have to move step into so now let's see the memory and the memory default value has been stored and default value is ff which is equal to 255 and now we have to write location 1 uh, character a so we have to step into and step out now let's again check the uh, raw memory here you can see it address 141 has been stored because 41 is the uh, SK codes for A. You can see character A has been stored. SK will look character A is about 41, uh, 0 cross 41 and A41, 41, not 41 in decimal system, but it is a 41 and hexadecimal system, 0 cross 41. Video has been stored for address A. So now let's read this uh, memory location. You can check by the program. Then the programmer, the PC will read the uh, EEPROM data, EEPROM memory, EEPROM data, to test one, and you assign this value to the Y. And then check the condition if the value of Y is equal to 1, A, character A then it will execute this one otherwise it will jump over it it means the value of y is a because the condition is true it executes this command statement next but the value of y check if the value of y is b no it is not true because the value of y is a character is not equal to b so it pass pass over this no now we can play again and again this way In each memory cell, only one character can be stored. It may be, for example, let's now store uh, character B. Again, we have to recompile, finish debugging session, and here we have to debug main project. It will take some time. Now let's debug, debug, debug it. step out see the memory now at address b address 1 a script code b has been stored b has been stored at address 1 for the twist the script code for the capital letter b now let's read the memory for the c codes we have to read the address 1 It means this statement was wrong. The value of y is greater b. Check it again and again. You can observe the PC is jumping over this step command statement because this condition is wrong. This if condition is wrong, this condition is b1 is the right. And this way you can check the program memory, a program memory by C codes. This was the C codes for writing to only one memory cell. So let's fill all the 128 memory cells. 
by using the while loop for this let's we start x value from 0 then we have to use do while loop do this one do while loop will be used while the value of x is the small x is smaller than and equal to 127 and then we have to increase the value of x x plus x plus plus we have to write it each memory cell we have to write its own address value so there are 128 memory cells memory locations and each memory location we have to write its, its address we have to write the address of the cell on the we have to store the way the value of the address of the cell on the cell what happens so let's uh, debug it uh, rebuild it we have built the program so let's set our this way so now this while loop will be used we will have x pump start the address start from 0 and this 0 address will be stored at the address address 0 will be 0 will be stored at address 1 will be 1 be stored at address 2 will be 2 will be stored at address 3 will be 3 will be stored this one this one x is for address, other x for value, which will which which you have to store in the address. In the value we used x plus plus, we have to increase the value of x, and this uh, PC will be in this loop until it will lose becomes uh, greater than 127, and then it becomes come out. This one step one two, it is in the address we have to step out and check the memory. Here we can see that. Each address 0, 0 is stored, address 1, 1 is stored, address 2, 2 is stored, and address 3, 3 is stored, address 4, 4 is stored. Then each one below shows the address of the location 3, 6. Uh, this one is the row 3 and column 6. And this is the 3A, row 3 and column A. You can see 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. All the memory has all the memory has been filled where it's addressed. But other thing you can notice here in the calculator course. Here this from 21 from 21. This sign is the skip code for 20, 0 plus 21 is the skip code for this sign. And so on for 0, the skip code is 0 plus 30. 0 plus 3 0 is the skip code of 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. All these are the videos, is these are the SK codes of uh, these characters. Numbers, symbols, numbers, capital letters, small letters. letters. So simply you can see how the memory has been filled. You can fill all the memory with many letters. For example, you have to fill all the memory with uh, Letter, for example, with letter P. What is the key code of P is the key code of P is 50. So now let's check it. As the 50 is the key code of P, we have to write X. Now we have to write this 0 class 50. What is the key code of P? So it all addresses 0 class P will be stored. Now let's finish it and debug, debug it. Now move forward, step into and step out. Check the memory. Now you can see all the memory location has been filled with below 0 plus 5 0, which is P, 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 P. So it means you can write any character, store any character. 
by using the character in inverted uh, inverted commas single commas inverted single commas or by just writing the ASCII codes of the letter by using the ASCII codes we can store any character and then we can uh, store the message in the form of ASCII codes or then you can show this message on the LCD screen LCD or any other purposes for the code purpose purpose so these are the simple application using of the AP ROM storing uh, feeding all the AP ROM with uh, letters and other word and other letters. So suppose that we have to store one, two, three, four, five. You can also be stored in this 128 memory bars. So thank you for watching our video. For any questions or any difficulty, you can write in the comments.